question 25 is on punctuation and toward the end of our writing module before you get to transition when you're on question 25 let's say or question 23 on two or three on a real test adaptive margin module if you're doing punctuation toward the end you must understand that it's not going to rely on mechanical reasoning but much of comprehension and logical reasoning that the success of question 25 purely depends on your reasoning skills on how to make sense of this paragraph. So break down the idea and piece them together logically. That way we know how to place our punctuation most correctly. So let's take a look. First idea, chondrites are stony meteorites that are undifferentiated. So you know what that means. Chondrites don't have, they don't have layers. They are hardly pristine, pristine. What does pristine mean? It means like it's like new and fresh and clean. Pristine, they are hard. They're not, although they're, you know, they, they're undifferentiated, they are not clean and fresh looking. If you continue down, many chondrites experience aqueous alteration as a result of exposure to fluid as well as with fracturing, veining, and localized melting due to collision. I see these evidence that we need to piece together fracturing collisions and uh, these alterations these are these are uh, elements that would make our chondrites less clean and less fresh so with our first idea chondrites are undifferentiated i get that second they are hardly pristine. So now when we are considering though, where do we place though? Do we place the though in, the, in this sentence, the second one, or the third one? By looking at it, they are hardly pristine though. They are hardly pristine though. Going back to chondrite, chondrites are stony. So chondrites are undifferentiated. So you think that without layers, they would look very fresh and clean. But they are hard, they're not that fresh and clean, is what it's what is, what is indicating. They are not that clean. And here, many chondrites, it explains why they are not so pristine. So this, though, belongs to the sentence before, not the one after, meaning that when we're trying to figure out the punctuations here now, based on our comprehension, pristine, though, Okay, pristine though, we need to finish, complete our idea here and set off the many part as a new sentence, meaning you can't have no punctuation. This will be a just running, run on uh, punctuation, run on sentence. This too, this too. The only way to punctuate this properly so that they are hardly pristine though is to choose our B pristine though and then put a semicolon after which would indicate that they are hardly pristine though as one idea and the following idea continues with many chondrites experience aqueous alteration as a result of exposure to fluids as well as fracturing veining and localized melting due to collisions with other objects. Okay, so to do well on these kind of punctuation questions toward the end, they have much higher difficulty due to understanding vocab and piecing three sentences together so that we have one complete idea, one whole idea that is about chondrites. Choice B is our correct answer.